Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the Surveyor 247BHDS. It's a beautiful double slide bunkhouse, great floor plan, a ton of amenities. Let's go ahead and start on some of the features of the outside. Right up front here you're going to have your two 20 pound propane tanks with your propane tank cover. Nice and easy to open, you just have two thumb screws, undo that, cover lifts up so you have access to your propane tanks there. Right behind that you will have tray for a battery and then you're going to have your diamond plating. This is going to be great in case any rocks or anything get thrown up by your vehicle, it's going to hit the diamond plating and not damage your fiberglass. Speaking of, right here you have a beautiful molded front fiberglass cap. You can see that you have a couple lights here which are going to shine directly down on the hitch which is perfect if you're hooking up or unhooking at night. As we move back, we'll take a look at the pass-through. I love what they did on the pass-through for Surveyor. You're going to have the magnetic latch, super simple, just lift it up and it latches. Take a look there, nice wide pass-through storage. It's going to be fully finished. You'll also have a light in there in case you're digging in there at night. Here's going to be your awning. It is going to be a power awning. It's going to run almost the entire length of the coach. Power awnings are fantastic. It's just a touch of a button. It'll roll out for you. Touch and hold it. It rolls back in. If you see a storm coming, no problem. You can have it back in in a couple seconds. But it's going to be nice, simple, one-person operation. You don't have to mess with it on both ends. Just going to uh, make your camping experience easier. Also, right up by the awning, you'll see you have your rain gutters. Those are also going to go the almost entire length the coach that way any kind of uh, rain water anything is going to drip on the front and back and you're not going to get soaked as soon as you open up the door speaking of the door nice and easy to get in you have three steps here you're going to have this big grab rail it's really going to help you get into the into the coach and also you're going to have a friction hinge door i really like the friction hinge in my opinion it's going to be one of the best door styles because it can fully go open like so you can have it you know at any angle you want can withstand winds of up to 20 miles an hour and you don't have to have any kind of latch here. The problem with the latch, even though it works great to hold it open, sometimes people forget, they'll go to grab it just like that and it rips the anchor right out of your fiberglass and then you have costly repairs. So this is going to be a great system, nice and easy to use. As we go a little bit further down on the coach, of course here's going to be one of our slides. Right here is going to be a TV mount, so you can have your TV mount right on the side of the unit. You're also going to have your cable hookup right here as well as your electric. But the awning is going to come out over here, that way everyone can sit out around the TV, maybe watch the latest Lions game. Go Lions! Oh God, I love them, but they're doing so bad. And then right here we're going to have our speakers, our outside speakers. So if you are listening to uh, any kind of music, you can sit out here, play the music. It is going to be operated by the multimedia center inside, but if you do have an uh, iPad or any other kind of portable device, cell phone, it is going to have Bluetooth connectivity, so you can sit out here and still be able to operate that. If we take a look underneath the slide, right here you'll see our tires. Uh, those are going to be nitrogen filled tires, so it is going to extend your tire life as well as give you better fuel economy. Also you do have the aluminum rims there, which are not only going to look really nice, but they're also going to uh, be a lot more resistant to rust and corrosion. As we move to the very back, right behind the slide, take a look at this. You get an outside kitchen. Bunkhouse just isn't complete without an outside kitchen, right? So here's going to be your outside refrigerator, plenty of room for condiments, all your pops, maybe a couple of adult pops in there too. You'll have your sink right here, great countertop space, and then right here you're going to have your pull-out cooktop. So that just pulls out like so. Two burner stove top right there, super simple when you're done, just tucks right back away. All right, walk around with me to the back of the coach. Last but not least, you have your bumper right here. It is going to come fully equipped with the tailgate storage system. This is going to be a really big bonus to have. Uh, it's, that way you don't have to worry about a bike rack. You don't have to worry about voiding out the manufacturer's warranty by installing something on the bumper. It's already going to be built in for you. This can fit up to four bikes or anything else you want to put back here. You want to strap a tote on there, no problem. Just folds down and you can simply do that. Also, right up top, something else I really like that Surveyor is doing, really stepping their game up. If you look underneath the light, that little black module right there, 
that is going to be your backup camera. Fantastic, super easy to use, comes with a handheld unit. That way if you are backing into a tighter space, maybe a state campground, you have a couple of trees that are going to be in the way, no problem, you'll see them coming a long ways away and make sure you're going to avoid them. All right, folks, I know there's a ton on the outside, a lot of great things. Let's go take a look at the gorgeous inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Surveyor 247 BHDS. You're going to have dual opposing slides in this one, which really opens the floor plan up and is also going to allow for a center island. Let's go ahead and start on the kitchen right over here. I want to show you have a ton of countertop space here, which is great, a lot of prep space. You get the three burner stove top and it's going to come with the glass cover which of course is going to help add to that countertop space. As you open it up, of course I'll give you access here. This is also going to act as a backsplash. That way if you are cooking bacon or spaghetti or something messy, it's nice and easy to go ahead and clean up. Right here we're going to have three full extension, very large drawers. Great drawers to have in your galley. Just a ton of storage there. You can fit all sorts of great items in there. Up top, we're gonna have our stainless steel microwave, and then right next to that, you will have additional storage, which is going to be support self-supported here. As I shut this, one thing I do wanna point out, and we'll, uh, you'll see this as we go through, it is gonna have hidden hinges on all the doors, your nice brush nickel pulls on here, and like I mentioned, you do get the struts to help support. Just a, a very, very nice looking, rich looking system. You have your uh, fully functional hood here, this will have a light and a fan on it. And then underneath our stove top, you do have a very large oven in case you wanna bake some goods. Right next to that is going to be our stainless steel Dometic fridge and freezer combo. This will run off of both LP and electric and it will have automatic switchover. What that means for you is you can be running it off of propane. As soon as you plug it into shore power, it will go ahead and switch over, which is gonna save you on some gas. Now one of the great features of this floor plan is they're able to fit your center island. So you get this beautiful center island. It's gonna be very versatile, very functional. You can see here, you're going to have a sink top cover. You get a double bowl sink, one large bowl, one smaller bowl, as well as your nice high-rise brush nickel pull-out faucet. Also, the sink top cover can be flipped over, and you can use this as a cutting board if you desire, or even a serving tray as it's going to be plenty large. One of the other things they do on the island that I love, just fully utilizing the space, right here on the side, this is actually gonna open up and you get extra storage here. So you have plenty of space here for uh, maybe some chips, Oreos, and then down below you have extra room for a bunch of canned goods. Right in the center of the island, right here, you get additional storage. And then right above that, you're going to have two plugins. That way if you want to you know, plug some things in, maybe have a blender up here, nice and easy to plug in, you can easily do that. Last but not least, right on this side, you get a larger compartment when this one opens up and there's going to be a trash can already built in for you so you don't have to worry about to f uh, finding a place to put it. It's going to go ahead and be right in there and it's already going to be hidden from, uh, from your guests. Right back here is going to be our bunks. As you can see, we have what they call a double over double bunk. It's gonna be double wide, nice and big, plenty of room. So, you know, if you're, whether your kids are, uh, you know, three, four years old or they're 16, they're still gonna be able to sleep on these bunks. You'll also have windows on both the top and bottom, as well as lights, privacy curtains. You'll have AC duct and a vent up top as well. Right next to the bunks is going to be our bathroom. We take a look in the bathroom, you will have a uh, rear entry door on the off door side. So that way you can just come in and use the bathroom if you need to. And you will also get a large tub shower in the very back with some shelving units, hand wand, nice skylight up top to let in a lot of sunlight as well as give you additional headroom. Right outside of that, you are going to have your medicine cabinet with a mirror and storage behind it. Underneath, you will see your sink and vanity with extra storage there. And then in the corner, you are going to have your stool with plenty of legroom. One thing to note about the bathroom, you do have an AC vent in there as well as a heat duct, so it will be heated and obviously have the AC run in there too. Right here, fantastic feature, take a look at that, very versatile space. So this can be extra pantry space, this can be closet space, you get the hanging, uh, hanging rod up top, and you have three fully adjustable shelves. Very large, excellent space right there for anything that you need to use it for. 
As we move over into our other slide, you're probably going to have family with you, whether it's kids, grandkids. Either way, you get this nice big U dinette so everyone can sit around the table, maybe play a game of cards, enjoy breakfast, or whatever else you'd like to do, but it just gives everyone a great place to sit. Also, this table will fold down. It drops down and sits uh, along the edge. You can fill it in with cushions, and it will create another sleeping space. So if you do have additional guests besides those that are in the bunks, you can sleep uh, two full-grown adults here as well. Right up above, you are gonna have excellent windows, let in a lot of light, and you're also going to get additional storage all the way across the top. This is great because it can fit longer items as there's no dividers. Again, you'll have the hidden hinges, you have the struts holding it up, and of course, the beautiful wood, the brush nickel pulls, and this glass right here in the center. One of the focal points of this unit, besides your center island, is going to be your entertainment center right here. So you get a very large 32 inch TV that will be on an arm, so you can swing that over to watch when you're in the kitchen, watch it when you're in the U-Dinette, wherever you would like. Uh, and right above that, you're going to have this sound bar for superior sound quality. You do have some controls up here, which is great because they're up out of reach of any children. Um, this will control your slides, your awnings, your LED light on your awning, as well as your interior and exterior lights. Underneath the TV, right here you're going to have your Sony DVD player, and then underneath that you will get some additional storage. Last but not least, let's go check out the bedroom. So up front in the bedroom, you do have pocket doors that are going to allow you to get in and out. It's not going to be curtains, actual doors, which is great for some extra privacy. You're also going to get a queen bed, and the queen bed will lift up, be supported by struts for additional storage. You can see there you have two compartments. I obviously have one full of some of the goodies that it does come with. Along the sides, you have excellent storage. You have wardrobe on both sides, have a hanging rod in there, and then you're also going to get dual drawers beneath. Also, right up top, you're going to have additional storage here, and same thing on the other side, and again, hidden hinges, and these will be supported by struts, so you don't have to hold them open. Last but not least, right up here, up top, you will have speaker zones, you'll also have uh, TV connection, that way if you do want TV, you can go ahead and hook that up. And then uh, one last thing I do want to point out, right here, you do get these great cubby holes, which are wonderful, uh, just extra space for anything you want to put there, just fully utilizing that space in this camper. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you do have any questions, please go ahead and feel free to comment on the video, or you can give us a call here at American RV. We'll be happy to answer them that way as well. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on your road to freedom.